Hi friends, welcome to my teacher model. Here I'm going to show you guys how to summarize a text. I'm going to be walking through steps one, two, three, and four. I have my teacher um, organizer that I'm going to use. I've already written out my responses. That way this video is not so long and overwhelming. And I also have Hatchet um, pages um, one through 12. Now, if you guys have the actual physical copies, your text may look a little bit different. If you're using the PDF version, it might look something like this. So let's get started. So step one, um, a summary should also include the author's name. So not only are you including the title, but the genre, but be sure to include the author's name. So for here, um, for our text, the title is Hatchet. Our author is Gary Paulson. And then our genre, this text is actually an adventure novel. So if I go up and... So here's my information here. And I'm going to start off with a sentence frame. So I'm going to be writing my summary in steps. So I'm going to start off with my sentence frame and I'm going to gradually add things onto my summary. So to start off my summary, I'm going to say in chapter one of the adventure novel Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Step two, I'm going to add um, my story elements to my summary. I'm going to name who my characters, the setting, and the problem solution is, and I'm going to add that on to my summary. So my character is um, Brian Robson, which is the pilot. In the pilot, I have the setting, which is an airplane above the Canadian wilderness, and then I have the problem, which the pilot dies. So these are my key elements that I'm also going to add to my summary. And to add on to that, I wrote in chapter one of the adventure novel Hatchet by Gary Paulson, Brian is on a plane flying over the Canadian wilderness when the pilot dies. So this part I added on to my sentence frame. Now, step three, if somebody wanted, doesn't, if somebody wanted, so the strategy here in step three, so the SWBST, somebody wanted, but so then, if that doesn't work exactly, you can repeat parts of it um, or try another order that makes sense. Um, so including the who, the what or what they didn't want, the problem, and how did the character try to solve the problem? And then the ending. So now I'm summarizing all the important events and the details. So I'm wrapping it and putting it all together. So I wrote that in chapter one of the adventure novel Hatchet by Gary Paulson, Brian, who is my who, is on a plane, which is the what? They're flying over the Canadian wilderness when the pilot dies. That's the problem. Now, Brian is alone and really scared, which is another problem that I have. I don't know how he will solve his problem yet. So this piece I added to the end. I included another problem that the that is happening in chapter one. So this is my overall summary of chapter one. I included the name, the te um the name, I the text genre, and the um the author. I stated the story elements, the characters, the setting, the problem and solution, and then I summarized my important events and details using the SWBST um, steps. So this is exactly what you guys are going to be doing when you're summarizing chapters two and three. Now we're going to continue on with the near part.